Former Nigerian military dictator Ibrahim Badamosi Babagida, also known as IBB, has disclosed that Nigerians believe the country should stay united because they love their peace of mind. He noted that Nigerians do not believe in secession. Babagida, who served as head of state between 1985 and 1993, shared his view on recent agitations for Biafra and Yoruba nations during an interview on Arise TV on Friday. It is always good to agitate because there is this belief that this country should be won. When they make the noise, they find that, that you know, they find out that it won't get supported because Nigerians, you know, generally don't believe in anything that would disturb their peace of mind. They won't do it. If you like, look back. If you like a place like Baga in the northeast, the Igbo man, Yoruba man, traveled up to Baga for trading. He lived very comfortably. He lived very well with the people around there. Sahara reporters reported on Thursday that Kano State Governor Abdullahi Ganduje said Nigerians' unity should not be, you know, debated despite you know, numerous challenges confronting the country. The governor said the nation's forefather who liberated the country from British colonialists sought its unity and at all costs and did not speak for secession for their ethnic groups. He then urged different separatist groups, mainly Biafra and Yoruba nation agitators, to suspend the associationist you know, activities in the interest of the United Nigeria. The Kano state governor urged the aggrieved groups to call for restructuring instead of sponsoring and promoting separatist agenda. Let me repeat here that Nigeria is a united and indivisible country. Our constitution has taken care of that. I don't see secession as the way out of the current challenges afflicting the nation. Instead, advocates for secession should have a change of heart and I recommend dialogue as a crucial option for addressing their problems. The Biafran agitators and a small section of the Yoruba nation agitating for Odudua Republic should therefore always have this at the back of their minds in their political calculations and transformations. It is on record that the great Dr. Nnamdi Azikwe, the first president of Nigeria, was an Igbo man and also a perfect negotiator and foremost champion of Nigerians' unity. The same for the great chief Obafemi Awolowo. He never agitated for secession. He was loud and clear on the restructuring of the federation and that, you know, and that demand is even louder and the debate is on and on one you know, is troubling agitation for the agitating, you know, for agitating, pardon, for restructuring of the federation. What is more, the governing party, the APC, has a working document already on this restructuring. This is the way we should all go. There should be no secession destruction at this time, Ganduji said. What is your thought about this? We have heard from Ganduji saying that we should stop this agitation we stop the succession, you know, and the separatist agenda. We should all accept dialogue and we will surely have a peaceful Nigeria of which we have been longing for. What is your thought about this? What is your reaction to this present situation? We'd like you to drop your thoughts via the conversation on this present development according to what we heard. The former Nigerian military dictator Ibrahim Badamosi Babangida, also known as IBB, has disclosed that Nigerians believe the country should stay united because... They love their peace of mind. Babangida, who served as head of state between 1985 and 1999, shared his view on recent agitations for Biafra and Yoruba nations during an interview on Arise TV on Friday. We have seen the reason why Biafra, Yoruba nation, and the association agitation, you know, agitations will surely fail. That is what the ex-Nigerian dictator have said, Babangida. He said the reason why these people will surely fail is that the Nigerians love their peace and they believe the country 
was you know should stay united because they love their peace of mind what is your thought about this i would like you to drop your thoughts in reaction by the comment section on this that has been said I'd like you to share your own point of view with us on this but before we go let's see people's reactions and know their thoughts about this let's see what people has felt concerning the present situation of things in nigeria adenyoju semiu reacted to this and said sit down there keep deceiving yourself upon uncountable numbers of people who lost their lives when you were in military you know president of nigeria then surely you are going to account for it before god your days are numbered general dictator babangida of our time what is your thought about this we have heard what has been said and then you have reacted and said sit down there keep deceiving yourself upon uncountable numbers of people who lost their lives when you were the military president of nigeria back then it is obvious that you will surely account for these people. You will account for those people who have lost their lives, the scores of people who have lost their lives before God. Your days are numbered. That is what Adinyonju have said. What is your reaction to this? You know, it is obvious that Babangida has had, you know, a dirty past during his time. And now he is talking about the present situation of things. What is your thought about this? I would like you to drop your thoughts and reaction. Let's move forward and see what other people's reactions is concerning this present situation. So many people have said Babangida is a very miserable man. He has failed during his tenure and he laid the foundation for corruption in this country. People who came before him did what they ought to have done and during his tenure, he changed everything. He was the one who laid the foundation for corruption, for why not, and so many others in this country. He has no value again in Nigeria. That's what people have been saying. That Babangida has no value in this country again. Whatever I like, he says he has no value again. Nobody respects him in this country again. What is your thought about this? Wisdom Unana reacted to this also and said, You see, all these old men, them know that if this country try work normal, you know, at all, them all, that is all of them, will all have their own rooms. In fact, they will have their different rooms in prisons. That is why they continue to deliberate on negative and leave real issues that will benefit and give us a better Nigeria. Divide Nigeria to save more lives and better people's lives. What is your thought about this that has been said by wisdom? What is your thought about this that Babangida is trying to destroy more lives to the one he has destroyed before? Now you see all these old men, they knew what is, you know, what is at stake if they should support the positive part of Nigeria, if they should support, you know, the good part of Nigeria. That is why they are always negative about Nigeria. They deliberate on negative and they leave the real issues. That is why the country has turned upside down. The real issues that should be deliberated upon that will give us a better country, that one has been left aside. What is your thoughts about this? We'd like you to drop your thoughts a reaction via the conversation on this that has been said. We are seeing the reason why Biafra, Yoruba Association agitation, will surely fail, according to what the ex-president dictator have said, Babangida. And as we can see, people are against him. They said he's a failed man, he's a miserable man, he has laid the foundation for corruption. People who came earlier before him, they did well, and Nigerians are proud of them. But Babangida has laid the foundation for 419 in Nigeria. The man has no value again in this country. That's what has been said. Thank you guys for listening. Do subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I'll see you on the other news. Bye for now.